Hello everyone and welcome to another Friday business intelligence tip. Today we just have a short little tip um, that I get asked quite a bit around SQL Server reporting services. Um, I get the question a lot of reports. I want to know who's using a report or uh, how many times has someone accessed it um, or a report is having problems. How do I find out what the, the problems are besides diving into the report itself? Um, Microsoft provided a couple uh, of views that make this very straightforward and very simple. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to uh, my other screen here that I've got up. And here again, I wish I could make it a little bit larger, but uh, underneath, um, as you all know, in SQL reporting services, there are two databases that get created uh, when you install a SQL reporting services instance. One of them is the report server database itself, and then is a, another one is a TempDB. In the views area, underneath the report server database itself, a number of views get put down. And one of them, actually all three of them, I use for different purposes. But what you'll want to do is just kind of look through uh, the three views that are called execution log, execution log two, and execution log three. And what these views have in them is anytime someone runs a report or makes a request of a data set that's in a report, that gets logged in here. So uh, for instance, if I just go to the execution log view itself, I'll go ahead and bring that up because it's a pretty basic one. Uh, it's got each report ID, the username that ran the report, which parameters they ran it for, and then the start and end time of that. And then if I go further to the right here, there's the time and the number of rows of data that's here, and then the success. Um, so what I do quite often is create a report on top of these views that shows me the information about how many times people are accessing reports, what the most popular reports are, or if there are problems with the reports, if you query this status column, you'll notice all these say RS success, but you'll see other ones that'll have errors. And I don't have any, unfortunately, on here right now that have errors to, to show you. But if you just query this status for anything that's not equal to RS success, you'll get all of the errors or people that have problems with reports. So if you have uh, someone that's reported to you that they're running a report and getting an error, what you can do quite often is take a look in here on that. Now, when you dive into those that have an error, if I go to these other views like this RS execution log three, further to the right, you'll see an additional information and it will put in here the error message. So perhaps it was a connection failure or not having you know, permission to a particular table, something like that. Now the text that's in here gets to be a little bit cumbersome because it is an XML but at least it gives you an idea of what uh, the problem is. And so you can spit that out or you know, parse that XML if you want to get a little fancier in it, but it does at least give you the, the error message within that. So um, by using the execution log, execution log two and execution log three, you can use it not only to see A, who's using the reports, but B, troubleshoot uh, what's there. And then it also does give you some timing so you can hone in on those areas that are maybe taking uh, longer than they should or what, what the time is, whether it's in the data area or something in rendering the report time itself. So with that, I just wanted to, to uh, give you a little bit of a overview that if you ever do get stuck or wanna know who's using what in reporting services, just hone in on these execution views and they'll give you the information you need. Now. Um, next week in our session, I am going to be uh, occupied live at one o'clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-record that and release it at one. Uh, so we'll have another video out there for you next week, but it won't be live for those uh, of you that are watching it on Facebook or YouTube or whatever uh, medium you happen to be watching on. So thank you for attending today and I look forward to sharing with you any other information that you might have and we'll catch you again on the next one.